Welcome back. When Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and his Blue Origin rocket blast into space tomorrow, it will fulfill the lifelong dream of another passenger on board. Mary Wallace Funk, known as Wally, was one of 13 women who trained to be astronauts 60 years ago in a privately funded program. Here's Lindsay Buckingham. In the 60s, seven men trained to become America's first astronauts. And so did 13 women, though private funds paid for their training. Back then, NASA only recruited military test pilots into the space program. In other words, men. While all of the 13 women were themselves pilots and had a lot of awards, recognition to their name, they were not allowed to become military test pilots. The group would be called the Mercury 13, and some even came to Cleveland for training at NASA. They underwent the same psychological and physiological tests as the Mercury 7. And in many cases, topping the men's results, like Gene Hickson, World War II pilot and flight instructor, who later became a school teacher in Akron. The youngest of the group, Wally Funk, whose parents had to sign a permission slip for her to attend training. Her enthusiasm for aviation still apparent during a trip to Cleveland not so long ago. Wally was like a, a kid in a candy store. She was so excited getting to see all the great things at NASA Glenn. Because the Mercury 13 wasn't an official astronaut program, the women's stories have faded a bit from history. Those at the museum plan on writing that. We want to share this story because they paved the way for the women who are a part of Blue Origin, who are part of Virgin Galactic, who are part of NASA. I'm ready. I've been trained. Ready for the next chapter with Wally Funk aboard the next Blue Origin flight. We're just going to be elated. Wally is finally going to become an astronaut. Finally. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.